Hello everyone, this is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha and in this video I'm going to teach you how to create a T for two project featuring the everyday details bundle. So let's go ahead and get started on today's project. So this is what the project looks like. It's a little belly band. It features an image from the everyday detail stamp set and it has the perennial lavender designer series paper on it. When you open it up, you have two pockets like this that hold tea. Inside I have some of my favorite Hawaiian teas in here. And then uh, you can uh, turn it over. You can see the designer series paper is featured on the back. And then you can fold up the pockets and slide the band back on. And this is not only great for tea bags, but you could put gift cards in it. Um, you know, any other little flat treat that you wanna share with somebody. So let me show you how we're gonna put this together. So we are gonna be working with two envelopes from the Assorted Memories and More card pack. And these um, envelopes are for the smaller card that comes in that assorted pack. So that, that pack has small, small cards and it has large cards, okay? So I've taken these two small envelopes and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do some cutting and some scoring. So I have my paper trimmer and the paper trimmer has both a cutting and a scoring blade. So I'm gonna place that at the top. I'm gonna to open up the trimmer and with envelope number one, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to line it up at three and a half inches over here. Then I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna move the scoring blade out of the way or scoring tool out of the way. I'm gonna take the uh, cutting tool and I'm gonna slide across and I'm gonna cut off the flap of envelope number one, okay? For envelope number two, we're not gonna cut. We are going to score instead. So I'm gonna line it up the exact same way at that three and a half inch mark but then I'm gonna pull the envelope to the left one eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to make a second score line that's gonna go onto the flap of our envelope. And that is going to create a tiny little gusset. I can fold it here so you can see, right at the top of our envelope, okay? All right, so we're done with the trimmer. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to punch out a little section of our envelope here. Now you could do it with scissors, but it's really easy to do if you have a small punch. I actually have a larger punch here today, but it's gonna work. I have a, a two inch circle punch. So I'm gonna take the two inch circle punch and I'm just going to place it in the envelope and then I'm gonna punch it out. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this one here. For the second one, I'll do the same thing. Line it up and punch it out. Okay, so now I have this little notch out of each one of the envelopes. For the next step, we are going to take the envelope where we removed the top and we are going to glue it to the envelope where we created the gusset. And where I'm gonna glue it is just above that gusset line. So I'm gonna just fold this again so I can see we wanna glue it above that line. We don't wanna glue it to the fold of the envelope, but we wanna glue it so that it lines up with that gusset line. So I'm gonna take and go ahead and just put my adhesive right here on the flap. And then take the envelope where we've removed the flap and we'll line it up to that gusset line and stick it down. Okay, very good. All right, now we are ready to do the fun part. We're ready to decorate. And so you're gonna need some Highland Heather cardstock. I'm using uh, three pieces that are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then you'll also need three pieces of designer series paper that are three by four, okay? And um, this is directional paper, so you're gonna wanna pay attention to how it's being adhered to the pockets. So let's go ahead and decorate these inside pockets first. Now, we have a, a notch here. If I were to just take and glue these together and glue them down, um, it would be really difficult to pull the tea out of the pocket. So we do need to create um, a little notch on here as well. So let me show you how we're gonna create an even notch. So the so uh, you could, you could uh, create a template, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you by just taking the two pieces of paper and I'm gonna push them up to the top like that so that they're, they're aligned together across the top. And then I'm gonna take my one and three quarter circle punch and I'm gonna go in about quarter of the way and punch it out, okay? 
And then I'm going to um, take the top piece and I'm gonna come back with my two inch circle punch. So it's just a little bit larger. And when I slide it in here, I just wanna get the tiniest little bit of extra, really just to take off those edges so that when I line it up, it'll just make it a little bit wider and it'll be a nice fit for the pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down. Like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and adhere it to the pocket. Now, you wanna make sure that you don't get any glue. Um, if I put glue up here, it might get in there. So I'm gonna uh, pay attention to only put glue on the outside edges and then I'm gonna just put it like that because I don't wanna get any glue where I um, punched out that section. Okay, hopefully that's good and I didn't glue that down. All right, you're gonna go ahead and do that a second time. So I'll show it to you one more time. We're gonna line that up. We're gonna take our one and three quarter punch. We're gonna punch out a little notch. And then we're gonna take the second one and we're gonna just take a little tiny bit more off of that. And then we're gonna glue it down. Okay, so you only need to notch two of your um, cardstocks. And then for the third one, we're gonna turn that around and then that one will go here on the back. And so we just want to leave that one without the notch and we're gonna glue that three by four um, lavender paper and onto a three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of Highland Heather. And then this is gonna get glued on the back. Okay, so now what do we do with this panel here? So for that, we need our trimmer again. For the next step, we're gonna take a four and a quarter by five and a quarter piece of Highland Heather. We're gonna place it in our trimmer and line it up at three and a half inches. We're gonna take this uh, scoring tool and we're gonna score it. And then in the exact same way as we did on the envelope, we're gonna pull this over an eighth of an inch. And then we're gonna score again so that we've formed a gusset on our cardstock. Okay, so you fold it on the three and a half and then it's just such a, a tiny, tiny little gusset, but it's gonna really make a difference for our project today, okay? And there you go, you have this tiny little gusset. We're then gonna bring back our project. We're gonna take adhesive, place adhesive on the back of this, or you can place adhesive on the envelope, which, whichever way feels more comfortable to you. And then we're going to line this up so that the second uh, gusset line there will line up with the edge of our cardstock like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put adhesive onto this piece here. And then I'm gonna take and turn this over and I'm going to just line that up in the center so that it lines up with that bottom score line. And then because I'm working with liquid glue, I can flip it over and just make sure it looks centered, that looks good. And then because we created a gusset, it has a nice flap on it, okay? I'm gonna fold this up and fold this over, and then we'll take a piece of designer series paper. Again, this is the perennial lavender. Um, you could use either side. I think I'm gonna use this more subtle side so that our focal point will pop more. And this little um, piece for the flap is one and a half inches by four inches. and this is going to get glued down like this. All right, for the next step, we are gonna create a belly band with a focal point. So we're gonna be using a belly band made out of gorgeous grape. And then I have three um, things that I've die cut here. So this is die cut, this circle is die cut with the Everyday Details dies. And then I punched a one and three quarter circle out of the perennial lavender paper. And then I have a two inch circle out of the Highland Heather. So before I stamp, I'm gonna just take this little um, plaid piece here. I'm gonna put some adhesive in the back. And I'm going to adhere that to the center of that Highland Heather circle. And then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to add some dimensionals. 
to the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and add three. And then I'm going to mount this to the center. Okay, so now this is all prepped and ready for our, fo our focal point. Okay, for the belly band, I have a one and a half by eight and a half piece of gorgeous grape. I'm gonna start by lining it up in the center of our project here, and I'm gonna loosely wrap it around, okay? I, I don't wanna wrap it super tight because depending on what tea you put in there, it might make it a little bit more bulky. Now you could use tear and tape, just out of convenience, I have my multi-purpose liquid glue here. Um, but tear and tape would give it a stronger hold and a more instant hold. This is gonna take some time to dry. But one thing that I like to do is also just place a couple of dimensionals along here because I'm gonna need them for the focal point and then also they will help to anchor down um, my belly band. All right, and then I can peel off the dimensionals and add this base for my focal point right there in the center of the project. Okay, so now we have, <laughs> we're ready for the star of this project, which is our focal point. So we are going to be using this little teacup from the Everyday Details. For the next step, I would color this, and these are the colors I would use, which is Granny Apple, Shaded Spruce, Sea Foam, Pool Party, and Heather. And you can use either the dark or the light, whatever is your favorite. You would color it and cut it out, and it would look like this. Now, if you'll notice, I did fussy cut that inside part because I wanted you to see the plaid uh, paper underneath there. Um, and in order to do that, one tip is to take your piercing tool and then just poke a little hole in there. And then that should make it easy if you have a really sharp pair of paper snips, that should make it easy for you to go in there and then just cut that section out, okay? But you could totally do it without cutting that and it would be just fine. All right, so to complete this project, I'm gonna throw a couple of uh, dimensionals on the back of my little teacup and place that right there. And then you could use one of our iridescent um, rhinestones in the class that I just did with Missy for our 25th anniversary tea party. We use these new um, embellishments here, which are called iridescent foil gems. So I'm just gonna grab a small one of those and I'm going to place that in the center here. That looks really cute. Okay, so this is our little tea for two. And I know some of you are thinking like, uh, it's nice and everything, but I don't like to color. And uh, So if you're somebody who doesn't like to color, or even if you don't like to fussy cut, you could easily do this by replacing this top section with just a circle punch that you stamped this image on and colored it in. But if you don't like coloring, let me show you another example. So here is the exact same project using a different designer series paper. This is created with Nature's Sweetness. And this teacup here, I did not cut out that little section. I did fussy cut, but I could have just taken that uh, gold part out and just put a white circle with the gray T and that would have saved a step for those of you guys who don't like fussy cutting, but there is no coloring on this. So just a gray uh, or whatever color, you know, that you're working with, just choose that and just do a straight on stamp and you can see it still looks really beautiful. Well, I hope you like this project, but one last thing before I go is I wanted to share with you the whole purpose of why um, we created this card. So in the, uh, Missy and I for our 25th anniversary did a paper share class where we shared all kinds of fabulous designer series paper from our newest catalog, as well as we featured a bunch of really cool samples from our celebration offering, which is going on right now. So I wanted to show you the card from our class that used the small cards and why we ended up having extra envelopes. So that card was also created with the Nature's Sweetness designer series paper and it looks like this. So you can see that nature sweetness paper is so beautiful. And this is a joyful card that opens up like this. It has a pocket in it. And you can see that you've got background paper here, you've got designer paper here, designer paper here, you got designer paper here. And then this features one of our new paper butterflies, which is a new embellishment in our catalog. Um, and again, so this is a non-stamping card, just a paper crafted card, okay? And then using this same layout, I also used our new rock and, uh, an image from our rock and roll suite. Um, and this is our rock and roll designer series paper. And then this uses a stamp set called Heartfe Heartfelt Hellos, which is this stamp set here. 
And if you, uh, if I have a chance, I'll feature a shot of Missy's beautiful cards where she took the celebration paper and created a different card for each one of these images. And her cards are fantastic. But it's these, this is the layout. Again, it's using the small assorted memory and more card with a large memory and more card. So when you do that, again, you'll end up with extra envelopes because you're not using the envelope for the small card, but here's a way you can use your extra envelopes and create this really fun T for two project. Well, I wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today and a huge thank you to those of you who purchased a $50 order or more uh, during our class offering because not only will you receive a free celebration item, but Missy and I have both sent you all the parts and pieces so that you can create the basic T for two project. So um, you'll be looking forward to getting that in your class kit. And for everyone else who came by my channel today, thank you so much for visiting me again and welcome to anybody that is new. I am so delighted that you came and spent this time with me today. I love sharing projects with you and I will look forward to being back and sharing more in the very near future. Until next time, aloha.